Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us for this Saturday Craft Day with Craft Galley. We're going to be doing a design team project using some neat and tangled products. And I've pulled out this adorable stamp set and I had to get glittery and get rainbowy because I was just in that kind of mood. So in this video today, I'm going to be using the same coloring medium to do the background as well as color the images. Sometimes we don't need 10 different mediums to get a card put together, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on today. So I'm getting my stamp set ready, and I decided where I wanted to basically stay within when I'm doing my rainbow. So I just drew two lines there to kind of make sure that I don't go too far out. And I'm going to be taking these Arteza Real Brush pens. Now I'm just going to be going, that's real time, but I'm going to speed it up here because I'm going to be going in rainbow color order and I'm not touching the colors too much. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap between them. I am working on Bristol Smooth cardstock, which is an absolute essential key to making these markers work in the way that I'm going to. I want them to blend. I want them to be a watercolor look and I want them to move around. So in order to do that, you have to have a cardstock that has a smoother finish on it that's going to allow you to get that look. Regular cardstock, when I say regular, I mean m without a coating, basically. Um, your Mina, your uh, cardstock from Michaels, things that is just going to basically let the make the ink seek. I can't speak today. <laughs> let me try that again. It's going to make the color seep right into the paper. And so this Bristol Smooth cardstock does not do that. There is a slight coating on top. Um, and, oh, uh, by the way, in the picture, you can see my breakfast. <laughs> That's what that weird thing is, because I just looked at it and did a double take, like, what is on my screen? That is my peanut butter on rye bread, and it's marble rye, which, side note, makes me think of a Seinfeld episode. Okay, back to business. Um, so that is what I'm doing here with this coloring medium right now. So I'm taking my water brush, and I'm basically blending in the colors. So you want to wipe off the brush every little bit there because if you keep going all the way down, your reds are going to eventually turn into mud down the rest of your page because you the darker colors are really going to kind of stay with it on that paintbrush. And so you can just see me kind of dab that off a little bit onto that paper towel. And I don't know if you caught that, but I just threw the rest of that breakfast straight down the gullet. <laughs> All right, so now I am going to stamp my images. I uh, used, I'm gonna be using these rub brush pens, so I want a waterproof ink. I pulled out my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. Loving that ink. I mean, I can't say loving as if it's new. I've been using it for a while, and it's still amazing. Uh, it gives me really stark images. It's just a great ink. Uh, I'm gonna cover it with some clear embossing powder because I'm gonna heat set that, and this way, I can kind of stay within the confines of my image. It gives me tiny little wells to help me out. But I am going to cut them out before I color my images. So I am putting this on my Brother Scan and Cut mat, and then I pull it off and look at that magic. So here I have all four of these images. I'm only using the one uh, little girl image for this card today, but now I have these images ready to go uh, to be colored up. So I also like to um, pull out, because I cut them out already, I'm going to pull out some of this post-it labeling tape. And I'm just going to fold that over on itself to make a double stick. And I'm going to place my image right there so it's not moving around and I don't have to hold it. So that's really helpful for that. I also wanted to give you a quick tip as I'm coloring here. Uh, if you do this and you cut out some images, um, I would recommend writing on the back of your images what cardstock you used and ink. This way, when you pull them out of... Uh, your stack of stuff, you know what medium would work best. And so uh, that's just a little tip just to kind of keep yourself a little organized. I need to start doing that with, I really need like a, a white paper organized system because right now all my white cardstock goes into one little package and I need to have like a little filing cabinet for my white scraps because the cardstock does make a difference. So, and I have a hard time sometimes telling between Nina 110 and Bristol Smooth because it feels very similar. So I have to come up with some sort of system there. Okay, so you can see I'm coloring up these images. I'm just going to let my the coloring play. I put at the beginning of the coloring when you could skip, so 
Um, if you still throughout want to do that, um, you can just skip ahead to the end. Not everybody likes the coloring, but if at least one person does, which I've gotten some feedback, then I like to keep it in for there because it's easier for those that don't want to watch it to skip ahead than for those that do to miss it altogether. What can I tell you about what's going on? Well, currently, right now, in this house, my daughter is like a little Tasmanian devil because she is so excited. Like, I had to tell her literal words that came out of my mouth. Atia, I need you to reel it in and take a few deep breaths because you're making me <laughs> nervous. She is crazy excited because tomorrow morning, her and I are getting in the car at 4 o'clock in the morning and we are driving down to North Carolina for our On The Make event, which Corin Wiskman and I are hosting in Moorhead City, North Carolina. So we are so excited, but she is wearing me out. I will tell you that. So by the time you all watch this video, it'll be, we'll already be getting ready for the event. Um, but now it's Thursday. So we're, we're driving down Friday morning. So anyway, yeah, she is over the moon excited. She's so funny because she reminds me so much of myself. She's like going through all the stuff that she needs to pack. And she's like, can I just make a list? And I'm like, yes. And I respect that. Make a list. And so she started making her list. And, um, but you know, when I would tell her to add stuff to the list, you know, it comes with the, uh, the, the famous five whys of why we're doing this. And I'm like, just add it to the list. <laughs> like you're stressing me out, kid. No, but she's great. And she's so excited and we're going to have a great time. So a little bit about the coloring real quick. You can notice how easy these are to work with. I have one or two colors that I'm putting in the shaded where I think the shading might be, and then I'm just using my water brush to pull that out. So they're very easy to work with, and they're a wonderful place to start if you want to get into that kind of coloring. Okay, so now we are, I, I looked at this background and I was like, you know, there's something, it, it's not blended as well as I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna put this Nouveau Moonstone paste over it, just freehand it because I want that to kind of mask just a little bit of those harsh lines. And I didn't quite know if this was gonna work, but I put a very thin coat of this, um, this glitter paste on top of it and then let it dry, came back to it the next day. And I have to tell you, I was hugely impressed. This is exactly what I was looking for, that I wasn't even gonna use glitter like that. And um, so I'm kind of glad it worked out the way it did. So I've got that ready to go, and then I'm going to just put my sentiment uh, straight down onto this gray cardstock. Now, I had cut this gray cardstock. As you can see, this was done with, um, you can use scissors, you can use a slider paper trimmer. That's how I did it. Um, but scissors work just fine, and you can just get a straight line there. I'm going to back that with some foam tape. And I use Burtek foam tape and then another off-brand from Amazon that work really well and a fraction of the price of some of the more expensive ones. So um, that's a money savings tip. And then I'm just going to place that straight down onto my panel. Once that's done, I'm going to trim away the bottom that's kind of hanging out. There's a little bit of white showing and I didn't want that. So I just take my uh, really long scissors there and I cut that away. Now I'm going to just lay her down flat because I already have dimension with the foam tape. So there's not much more that I want to add to that, um, you know, on top. I, if I'm going to mail this, I kind of want to make sure I don't have too much bulk. And so I'm just going to place that and hold that down for a little bit. The Art Glitter Glue is fantastic. It dries super fast. And so I don't need to place a block on that or anything. I just hold it down for a few seconds. My Nouveau Sparkle Pen is going to add some sparkle to her hair. I didn't plan on sparkling up all these things but once that pen hits the paper you're just like yeah just throw it on everything <laughs> so that's how I felt so I sparkled her up and um, look I went back for more I'm gonna do the uh, little paint tube here as well these paint tubes remind me of my Arteza paint tubes so that is pretty much it this card is complete this was so much fun to make sometimes you just need and I would say this was a minimal supply card to be honest um, but sometimes you just need a quick, easy card that has a little bit of a wow factor. And this just hit the mark for me. So hopefully you liked it. Thanks so much for stopping by. A, a link below what I used for the video. And if you have any questions, you know I love talking to you in the comment section. So we'll see you down there. Don't forget to head over to Craft Galley and check out what she has in store. Lots of great stuff. 
So check it out if you are in the market for some new crafty stuff. We will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.